Hello! In this video, you will learn how to use masks, containers, and reference objects. We will continue building a cockpit display using more advanced primitives. Let's first introduce the masks primitives. Masks allow hiding part of a graphical specification. They are clip planes, rectangular clip boxes, or stencils with arbitrary shapes. All mask primitives are in the masks section of the object's creation palette. In our cockpit display project, we will use a stencil. To position it, I will use the grid mechanism. Click here to show the grid and use the Snap to Grid option. This is very helpful for aligning objects on precise values without the need to adjust values manually in the properties. So let's add a stencil to create the look of a cockpit. Let's also curve the top and down lines. The next type of primitives we will be using are containers. Containers help structure the graphical specification because they allow grouping the primitives and objects functionally and also ease multi-user development under configuration management. There are various families of containers. Grouping containers simply allow grouping several primitives or objects together. They structure and enhance readability of the model and have no specific behavior. They can be rotated and scaled or plugged for translation, rotation, scale, and visibility. The panel containers adds rectangular masking capabilities to simple containers. Conditional containers allow selecting which of the containers' children will be visible at runtime, typically useful to select a page within a graphical application. And transformation containers allow performing a translation or a rotation of contained objects at runtime. In our cockpit display specification, let's apply a translation of the ADI background group. For that purpose, go to the Containers section of the Object Creation Palette and insert a translation group. Position the origin, start and end points, and reference in the drawing area. You can then set more precise values in the Properties tab. The objects located at the top of the structure tree in your design are drawn first. If you drag and drop, you change their order. In the next video, we will see how to plug variables to our elements so that we can simulate them. Thank you.